family. What's up with it? Wow, good morning. How's everyone? Okay, well, let's start off by saying that today is November the 3rd. Now, before we get started, let's go ahead on and clear the room with Wayne and them. Because this ain't for y'all. Lucille, this ain't for you, baby. Opal, this ain't for you. This ain't for you. Weta, this ain't for you, okay? Uh, Patricia, this ain't for you, mama. This is for the live and direct ones that I rose with, you know what I mean? This is for the ones that got a sense of humor, like to have a little, little good time, like to laugh, you know what I mean? That's what this is about. And we're going to cover a whole bunch of ground on today. So, you know, if y'all got a little knitting class or whatever, you know what I'm saying, or go over the announcements for, uh, for uh, Second Sunday, whatever you need to do, go ahead on and do that. But bring the rest of them niggas that couldn't get in, that was out there low-key trying to scalp some tickets, let them niggas go and come in. Tell them that their access have been granted, okay? Tell them that I said, come on in here, okay? Come on in this place. Hold on. Okay, so where do we start at? Where do we start? Wow. First, let me start off by thanking you guys. Thank you guys so much. Um, we have reached over 11 million views. 11 million. Never in my wildest of dreams would I ever thought. You know, me coming on here just shooting the shit with y'all that 11 million motherfuckers, or at least the same motherfuckers and watch this shit 11 million times. Baby, that's beautiful. I, I, I just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just overjoyed. I'm just like, wow, you know. No, I don't have the, the astronomical amount of uh, subscribers. And, you know, I, I, I talk my own self into believing that it is okay for the simple fact that some people don't want to sign up for certain things. Now, we're all right to watch, but bitch, I ain't finna sign up, you know what I'm saying, to watch your shit because and therefore it affects my spirit. Now, it, that's, that's just the way I've been able to deal with that, in which I'm cool with it. Honestly, I'm so cool with it, you know. But them views, though, you cannot take away from them views. Them views, that's where everything. Can shit get going without them views? You know, they're not, they're not, they're not, they're not, um, they're not, uh, looking at, you know, how, well, depending on who you ask, some people look at subscribers, but, you know, when you really get down to the, you know, the meat of it all, they looking at them goddamn views, okay? How many motherfuckers is really watching your shit? Like, really? Because if you have 49 million, uh, 11 got damn 100,000 whatever uh view uh, uh subscribers but ain't but about 1300 motherfuckers watching your shit nigga something happened somehow you know what i'm saying the motherfucker signed up they're like you know what i you know what i really like this bitch i'm going to subscribe i really like her presence i like everything that she has going on she's god fearing all this her mouth is not falling wildin you know, she's very cool and, you know what I'm saying, etiquette skills is all on deck. And, you know what, I'm going to subscribe to this motherfucker. Yeah, that's how that's how some motherfuckers really be, you know what I'm saying, on, the, on with their own. <coughs> you know, so hey, it is what it is, but it's okay with me, baby. I have lived and I have grown, and I'm so okay with it. To God be the glory. Okay, thank you so much for watching. That's all I can say. Thank you for watching. Because somebody watching, you know what I mean? Somebody watching while you're bullshitting. Somebody watching. There was somebody like, you know what? D did the bitch lose any more weight? Uh, does the bitch still look the same? Is she still cussing on her channel? What that bitch cooking today? Uh, is that bitch throwing shade? Is that uh, is the bitch in the car today? Oh, that, that motherfucker didn't get repo yet? That bitch still got that car? Oh, my God. It, uh, what part of the house is that bitch in today? Yeah. So, I'm not mad at it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Really, from the bottom of my soul. Real shit, though. All bullshit aside, because you know what I'm saying. I'm on some jokey joke shit, but on some real shit, though, really. You know, from the bottom of my soul, I really, I really do uh, thank you for watching my shit. 
from time to time, you know, I do go through these things on, you know what, Tina, why you cuss so God? You know, but I, I don't even know what it is. I don't know. Yesterday, matter of fact, you know, Kenny had came over. We were sitting around, you know what I'm saying? We watching the motherfucking game. And we, you know what I'm saying? We got our head right. You know what I'm saying? Harvest is in, baby. She, uh, check this out. Harvest is so motherfucking bomb. Nigga, I had to clone my own motherfucker. I said, you know what? Let me go ahead and pinch off this motherfucker right here because I'm going to need you to grow again. Okay? I'm going to need your motherfucking ass to grow again. And it's called God's Nectar. That motherfucker there? Oh, my God. For those of you guys that don't know, I grow my own medication, and um, I have God's Nectar, and I have White Fire out there. White Fire is, uh, is an upper, it's more of a sativa, you know what I'm saying, that's, you know what I'm saying? that's what I just had a while ago, you know what I'm saying, I took my medication after I got out of the sauna, took me a shower, you know what I'm saying, all that right there threw me on little garments. You know what I'm saying? Made me a little cup of coffee. You know what I mean? Because while I'm working out, I just drink alkaline water. And then, you know what I'm saying? I have a couple of oranges sliced up to where, you know what I'm saying? Bitch, you got to get it together. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. So, but don't don't sleep though because a bitch fell out about a week ago. I fell out. I was doing too motherfucking much. Bitch was on the roll. I was like, you know what? Nigga, I'm not going to be fat no more. Shit. Motherfucking ass. Shit. Motherfucking ass fell out. Call myself gonna do me a whole motherfucking hour and you know what I'm saying and all this old type of shit here. First of all, I was already dehydrated from all this half a gallon I gave that nigga the night the night before. This was what was it? Was it the previous Saturday? Yeah, it was the previous Saturday. So then therefore I was dehydrated after that point in time. I take my motherfucking ass after, you know what I'm saying, next morning I done woke up shit nigga, it's time for me to get my workout in, you know. I start my workout early. See, and see, this is what I do. Let me let me just run y'all on how, you know what I'm saying, I do my thing. Everybody do their thing different, and, you know what I'm saying, uh, results vary. But, anyway, so I get up every morning, I go out, and I, and I sweep down the pool. I sweep it all the way around. It's 14 by 28 feet. 14 feet by 28 feet, so it's a big-ass square. But while I'm out there, you know what I'm saying, I'm, I'm really, you know what I'm saying, I'm nigga on some Crunch and Tiger type nigga. I'm on some low key. What's her name from uh, Love and Hip Hop? Uh, what's that shit? What old girl that Carly motherfucking Red, how she was, yeah, on that. Yeah, that do get the job done, nigga. That will get a bill paid or two. Motherfuckers is really sleeping on that move right there. That move there with the lock, with the motherfucking jaw that, the, you know what I'm saying, then, then locked and clicked and shit and then, baby. That's a whole nother video. We ain't talking about that right now, but hey, if you want to make sure that your shit and your security and shit is covered, you better put the shit out there. Um, excuse me. I said I wasn't going to cuss. God damn. I, I, well, I didn't say I wasn't going to cuss. I said I wasn't going to really, you know what I'm saying, talk so much about sex. So that makes some motherfuckers feel uncomfortable. You know what I'm saying? But don't feel uncomfortable because you at home, you at work, you in your motherfucking car, you in the subway, whatever have you. Ain't nobody here but us. You know what I'm saying? So look around you. Ain't nobody checking for you, bitch. So you can go head on and chuckle to yourself. It's all right. You know what I'm saying? It's all right. Laugh at this crazy motherfucker. This bitch is crazy, huh? Excuse me, huh? Did you watch Love and Hip Hop? Uh, yes. Did you put my clothes on the floor? No. Um, hold on, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm making a video. Okay, what happened? I had clothes in the dryer. Someone just threw them all out on the floor and put some other clothes in there. That had to be Isaiah. That's so rude. Yeah, it had to be Isaiah because I don't, I don't know nothing about that. Yeah, okay. All right. Anyway. Uh, my son is 19. That motherfucker turned 19 on the goddamn first. Ain't that something? I had that nigga 25 motherfucking years old. My son is fully grown. He on, he doing his own motherfucking thing. I love him just the way he is. You know what I'm saying? And my son is about that life. So if y'all in here, you hearing it from me firsthand, you know what I'm saying? My son is about that life. My son is on some old Malik and Miles and all that old type of shit. What can I say? You know what I'm saying? You know, I love my baby. I love him just the way he is. But, yeah. But he's a good-looking. I don't understand that, man. 
Mm, mm, mm. Man, that's a whole nother motherfucking video. I'm, can I go and say it and get it out the way? I know I was talking about some other shit, but anyway, my son is bisexual. And so, you know, it's something that, you know, of course, I'm his mama. I've been knowing this shit for years, you know what I'm saying? This ain't no new shit. This is just some shit I'm just sharing with y'all motherfucking asses that, you know what I'm saying? For those of you guys that don't know and those of you guys that do know me, know my clique, know my whole motherfucking crew, and, you know what I'm saying? It, it's not a secret with us, you know what I'm saying? It ain't no, oh, this motherfucker just came out the closet, this bitch just found out yesterday. No, excuse me, I'm his mommy, okay? And my intuition and all that shit is sick to death. Okay, nigga, I've been doing all that old type of shit, but hey, that's my baby and I love him all the same. And he ain't finna be fucking around. I go in his motherfucking room, this nigga's hanging from something. Because he can't deal with the fact that his mama still can't accept him anyway. Fuck that. That's my baby. I love him just the way the fuck he is. And that nigga, hey, check this out. But why he got him a government job, though, why you bullshitting? They hired that nigga, okay? That nigga is hired, uh so he got him a little government job and shit, you know what I'm saying, yeah. And he, you know, he doing his own thing, you know what I mean? Hey, nigga, uh, it is what it is. Anyway. But, um, whatever. So I, um, you know, in the mornings, you know what I'm saying, I go out there and I, you know what I'm saying, when, when I'm hitting that, when I'm hitting... That when I'm sweeping it down, I'm really sweeping it down. You know what I'm saying? I'm going all the way around the perimeter of the pool. And I mean, I'm really, you know what I'm saying, brushing it. I mean, brushing the sides, brushing the bottom. But instead of me just using my arms, I'm also doing squats. As it gets deeper, as the, you know, you know, to get on the sides of it, I'm actually doing squats with the pole. And uh, let me tell you something. The... Uh, I'm really starting to see some really cool, you know, results. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm still getting results, you know. I mean, I'm, I'm a work in progress, you know. I lost the fat. I, I, you know, I already won on that. But it's like now I'm just, you know, trying to get more healthy. Um, this morning I weighed. I weighed 181.6. That's pretty cool for me. I'm, I'm, I'm good, you know what I mean? Um... I'm really chasing that 26 inch waist, so I only got a couple of inches to go. Holla at a player, you know what I'm saying? Holla at a motherfucking player, yeah. I, I got about a couple of more motherfucking inches in my, in my, and I'm like, okay, once my waist get 26 inches, it's like, okay, then at that point in time, y'all, y'all niggas gonna think I done lost my motherfucking mind. But just know that when you see her coming. That's why right now I got me some heavy, some, you know what I'm saying? I've been really rocking some real, you know, big shit sometimes. You know what I'm saying? It just kind of, you know what I'm saying? I, I know what's up under this motherfucker and it's coming together. So it's like, okay. So now, you know, I put me some real, you know, but it's the fall. You know what I'm saying? So get all, all like that for what? Now, I will be like that for my son's banquet. Okay, my son's having this football banquet and shit, and, uh, yeah, I'm, 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 you know, I'm finna show this whole motherfucking coaching staff and all these motherfuckers right here on what, what time it is on this right here. Oh, that's Buttons, mama. Oh, that's, yeah, that nigga. Yeah. Th you know what? Wait a minute. How about the coach called me? He said, I had to call you about Kevin Hart. I said, who is Kevin Hart? What you talking about? Kevin Hart came to the school. He said, now nah, your baby is like Kevin Hart, and he be having us rolling. Up here at the motherfucking school. I just had to call you and tell you. Your son is so goddamn funny. But you know my son and my daughter though. My daughter be having motherfuckers congregating around. And she don't do the bullshit that she say. And it's kind of funny. You know for me as the mama. And it's like you know my kids done pick this shit up off of me. You know what I'm saying. And my parents. My daddy was a real funny cat. You know what I'm saying. But my mama was rather reserved. You know my mama was real reserved. You know what I'm saying? Mama was a little Eastern star. You know what I'm saying? She, you know what I'm saying? My mama, you know, drove my steady, But you know what I'm saying? She was, you know, hair up in a ponytail all the time. My mama was never jazzy. Um, she was never, my mom was a real beautiful lady, but she was never a uh, real jazzy like that. She was real submissive and laid back and all that shit. My daddy was the motherfucking, you know what I'm saying, all the way live ass, dark skinned ass, motherfucking mason ass nickel. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. LAPD searching for suspects. So, see, some shit is happening every motherfucking day, man. This shit happening every motherfucking day. 
real shit. Um, how about, okay, because I just turned into Channel 11, Fox News, and um, um, LAPD searching for suspect in South Central LA. Okay, y'all, it's been some crazy shit, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it's, they, they really on this, um, you know, a um, hundred uh, hundred dark nights, you know what I'm saying? hundred 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 lives, a hundred days, some shit like that. That I've been hearing that they've been, you know, that they've been talking about them amongst the streets, you know, in in, in South Central LA. That you know, it's it's really going down over there. Them, them them motherfuckers ain't got shit to lose, and them niggas is mad at. I don't even know what the motherfuckers is mad at. I don't, I, you know, I don't run in them circles, so I don't, you know, I I I, I don't even want, I don't want to know. You know what I'm saying? And therefore, I ain't nigga, I ain't got to tell the truth about nothing. You know what I mean? Cause I, psh, hey, uh, okay. So, yeah, they got some gang wars going on in L.A. and shit. And, nigga, I go down there and do whatever the fuck I need to do, nigga. And I get back on that motherfucking t uh, uh, 10, 210, uh, 60, whichever one, 91, and I get my motherfucking ass back to the his house. You know what I'm saying? I ain't down there fucking around. I, I don't know nothing about what them niggas got going on. Don't give two fucks about it. Nigga, this is what's happening over here. You know what I mean? It be too much going on. You know, I see my, Michelle A is coming out with her own little motherfucking, uh, I don't know, if they, but they, they're kind of talking about doing a movie or her own personal reality show, you know, with the life of, you know, how she was getting down with Suge Knight and, you know, and Dr. Dre and all that other kind of stuff. So, you know, it's, you know what I'm saying? I'm not working on that project. Damn. Damn. How come y'all motherfuckers, did, how come did nobody call me and ask me about that one? I, damn, that was a, but, but the people that's really working with it, oh, I ain't mad at y'all. I'm, I, you know, it's cool, but, damn. Holla at me if you need me to write something. You know what I'm saying? You need me to write something in or whatever, holla at your partner. So, anyway. But, uh, so yeah, that's what's up on that. It's been some crazy shit going on out here on the news, family. You know, it's it's, it's real crazy shit. Going. I mean, this motherfucker's, um, the Taco Bell dude, executive at Taco Bell, whooped the shit out of the Uber driver the other night. Over the weekend, this motherfucker picked his ass up in Orange County. See, motherfuckers, they, motherfuckers be worried about... <coughs> Motherfuckers be always talking about, uh, you know, South Central L.A., oh, don't, don't go to Compton, and the niggas, niggas in Inglewood is off the chain, you know, that kind of shit. But don't sleep on them Orange County motherfuckers, though. You know what I'm saying? Do not sleep on motherfucking Orange County. Them white-collar crime motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying? Them motherfuckers in, in a whole different income bracket and shit, yeah, they might not be doing... What them broke niggas down there in L.A. be doing. But they on a whole different level on how they get down, though. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of white-collar crime shit. And when them motherfuckers do go and bump somebody off, nigga, they killing the whole everybody in that motherfucker that's breathing. Everybody dying. That's how they doing it down there in Orange County. You know what I'm saying? That's down there where Scott Bayo and motherfucking all them Aikman and all them type motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? All them motherfuckers. Housewives of Orange County motherfuckers. All them. <laughs> Look, check this out. Now, we just had Halloween, right? Now, over the weekend, there's been a whole bunch of motherfuckers that went to jail and shit because they had all these rave parties and shit. Matter of fact, they had one in San Bernardino. Me and Kenny was driving down and shit. We like, Damn, where's all these motherfuckers coming from and shit? And they had the streets and shit blocked off because they was having a little Halloween get down, little rave thing and shit. See, I, I didn't give away no Halloween trick or treating candy. I didn't do none of that, and I kind of just stayed in. I don't really fuck with Halloween like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, as a mother with children. Yeah, I would dress them up and had them filleted out on their little shit that they was rolling with. You know what I'm saying? For Halloween and trick-or-treating and dressing up for school and all that old type of shit. See, my daughter, you know what I'm saying? That's when the Disney princesses was jumping off. You know what I'm saying? We went to the ice capades every year to go see the Disney on ice get down. You know what I'm saying? Every year, the motherfuckers come in the early spring. From January to March, nigga, you going to, di we going to Disney on ice. 
Um, that's how my kids grew up. You know what I'm saying? My daughter loved Disneyland, so you know, we would we would make it a point to take her to Disneyland, you know what I'm saying, every summer. That was her thing, you know what I'm saying? Especially since her birthday is in the summertime. That was, you know, so when Halloween came, she was wanting to be on some old jasmine type shit. You know what I'm saying? So it, it was okay to be, you know what I'm saying? Then she liked, um, then one year she was wanting some 50 skirt or whatever, poodle skirt or whatever. She was doing some old happy day type, Greeks type shit. So, you know, so she never really was on that mass type shit. You know what I'm saying? Now, my oldest son, yes. He liked all that old gory type shit, but he, but back in the day, like I was telling that motherfucker the other day, I was like, nigga, wasn't you Pokemon, motherfucker? 